When he's on the field, everything makes sense. And it's his favourite day of the week. I think the best players still have that love and passion for it because you've, you've got to have that. If it becomes too much of a job, you lose sight of the good things about it and why you loved it in the first place. I have always been a bit of a deep thinker outside of footy and I think it's really important, the mindfulness and being present in the moment. Sport and footy, it's a lot of it's just above the shoulders and you, know, you can become such a better player just by tweaking some things with your mental side of it. He's extremely focused and works really hard and we love that because I think you're really lucky if you're blessed with talent. It's your job then to make sure that you work hard and fulfil that talent because a lot of people don't have that opportunity. A young gun, as good as it gets. It's always been pretty innate in me, that my competitiveness. I've always had that self-belief and in my head I always know that I've done the, the hard work. So the rewards that come from that, I always know it's from hard work and it's not just a bit of luck. Dished out to Rao, snaps it on the left! How can you not fall in love with him? I don't do it for the hype or anything like that, I just do it for the love of the game and going out there with my teammates and you know going to battle with them. That's the thing that I really get out of it and love. It was awesome to get some wins and to have that real excitement around the team. And the Suns have won three in a row! Nab AFL's kick, that's my first memory of footy. Had the 19 on the back for Eddie Betts. He wouldn't have seen me without a footy um, a lot of the time. I was just fascinated with the game and just loved it, you know, from the start. But the Nab AFL academies were really, really good. I really enjoyed them and you got a lot of boys going up against you in your own state, but then you all the boys around the country and you go, wow, this is what I'm up against. You know, I've got to keep pushing, you know, I can't be satisfied. And draft combine was, uh, yeah, it was good. Just thought, you know, this, this is the last thing to showcase myself, so I just gave it 100% like I usually do. And no bad AFL draft was, was a bit of a blur. You're pinching yourself a bit. I was like, wow, I've, you know, I've made it. This is pretty cool. The Gold Coast Suns have selected Matthew Rao from the Oakley Chargers. <laughs> to go the number one pick as well was, was, a, was a massive honour. I was pretty nervous as well, you know, straight to media and stuff, and it was all a big blur, so... But it was a pretty cool experience and something I'll, I'll remember for a long time. Family are really important to me, and so it's a, it's a bit difficult to go into a different state and, you know, a bit of a different environment. I loved it as soon as I got here. I've always just tucked in my jumper. I think it was when I was really little, I started doing it and one of the coaches said, that's a good idea, like, you, um, you won't be able to get tackled as easily now as well, you won't be able to grab your jumper, and so it was a bit of that, and I just liked the look as well, kind of the old school, and, you know, get down to business and, and, and get going. Rousing trouble, boys, in the middle of the ground. Shoulder. You can That's see the, the point of the bone yeah. sticking up there. Yeah. yeah, he's in trouble. There's a lot of emotions that go through your head, you know, it's... The first thing was, oh, geez, I've never really experienced this. It was really great of, like, blokes like Joel Salwood and Gary Albert to come up to me after the game, and just wish me the best and, you know, they don't have to do that, so it's, it's really good of them and I really look up to, to boys like that that have been in the system for so long and what they've been able to achieve. My mindset flipped to just, OK, how can I turn this into a positive? How can I get things out of it? So I've done that by, you know, getting in the gym and getting strong with the legs, mindset things, just things that if I was in season I wouldn't be able to do and just trying to stay positive and I know I'll be back bigger and stronger. I think about the Gold Coast Suns and all the young boys that we have. We have the talent, but we've also got the work rate and mindset that we really want to do something special at this club. You go through those NAB AFL pathways and it, it, it prepares you really well. Things can get taken away from you in certain situations, but your attitude can't get taken away from you. That's how I really look at things. I've got a pretty lucky life being an AFL footballer and I've got a great family. I'm, I'm very lucky.